Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I, I'm about to. I, I'm gonna make this a quick video, or try to, anyways. Uh, just some things that I think need to be said. Um, you know, my last video, I was really excited about the Cowboys win, and uh, I came in here. Uh, I was pretty pissed off too, because uh, you know, all summer I've been hearing about how the Cowboys are gonna be a joke, and now we're showing up playing real teams. We got some idiots, and you know what? They're all Eagles fans. I, the Redskins fans have given us props. The Giants fans give us props. These are all Eagles fans, all right? And I think I know what the deal, what the problem is. Eagles fans thought y'all were gonna come in this season and whip everybody, like like you thought. You know, it thought gonna be another. Y'all 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 tell us we're living in the past. Y'all think that last year is gonna happen again? It's not happening again, all right? Now, you uh. I remember, and I think the main one, and you know, Bad Andy always talks about how well, everybody gets pissed at him and wants him to beat Crow because you talk the most crap all summer. You even admitted that you were talking about the Cowboys all the time. And you probably made one of, if not the stupidest comment on my video. You said, don't get too excited. Who y'all played? Y'all played what? You put, you put the records out. You said, one and two Dolphins. Uh, one and two, oh no, zero oh and three Dolphins, one and two Bears, one and two Giants. Okay. Well, you want to know why those teams have one more loss? Because the Cowboys gave it to them. All right. And also, your team's one and two. So what's that saying about your team? Are you are you saying you're not a good team? Because that's what you just said in your comments. All right. Because see, and, and then again, are you saying that if we had lost those teams and they're good teams because you put on the team that they were two and one? The teams that, that you lost to, they're 2-1. and one. You want to know why they're 2-1? and one? Because they beat y'all, okay? So I don't want to hear that crap on my video. I mean, what, who, what do the Cowboys have to do? Do we have to win the Super Bowl? I guess we do for y'all to actually shut up, which is fine with me because I think we can do it this year. we got a better shot than you do, all right? And because that's exactly right. You, you put 2-1, 2-1 and one, two and one Redskins, they're 1-2 and two if y'all take care of business, but you didn't. 3-0 and oh Packers, they're 2-1 and one if y'all take care of business. You didn't do that, okay? So I don't want to hear this crap, all right? And I think I know why. And, I, and Bad A's not the only one. Man, there's some Eagles fans. I don't know who it was talking about how I'm up on my high horse, you know, that I'm usually level-headed and that uh, now I'm getting too excited. Well, am I not allowed to get excited about my team when they play well? I guess not. I guess. And I, I think I know what the problem is because the Eagles finally got their first win of the season over the Detroit Lions. Congratulations. And I think what pissed them off was that the Cowboys have overshadowed that. We beat the defending NFC champions in their house, okay? You know, so it's like, okay, you beat the Detroit Lions, you beat the Chicago Bears, all right? Yeah, exactly. And the, Chicago, the Detroit beat who? Oakland and Minnesota? Yeah, so don't even talk to me about how they're a good team, okay? They've got a good offense. There's no defense there at all. So, and also, uh, just something, this is also from the Texas Longhorn videos. People, you know, I, I don't mind trash. This is what it is, trash talk and talking about people's teams. But why do people try to trash talk about halftime scores? During the TCU game, somebody put on my video, oh, they're all losing 10-0 to zero at halftime. You know, what about them Longhorns? We came up with 34-13. to 13. Okay? I don't understand what the deal is. And someone even put, hey, man, it was 3-3 three to three at halftime. Y'all didn't beat us that bad. It doesn't – halftime score – who goes back and looks at halftime scores? Does, does, that, does that account in your win-loss column? That, you know, well, you won the game, but you were down at halftime, so I mean, maybe it didn't worth as much. That's stupid. There's so many stupid crap going on right now because everybody's pissed off. Everybody but the Cowboy fans. We're 3-0. and We're doing raw. We're awesome. All the Cowboys fans on here, we're having a great time. What do you, what'd you expect us to say? Do you expect me to get on here after we beat the Bears like – well, you know, we pulled one out there. I'm, I'm really, you know, I mean, um, we might be all right this year. I just, uh, you know, you never know what happened. No, I'm going to get on here. We'll be excited about the football game and excited about my team. I'm sold out, and I'm going crazy for them. And so all you Eagles fans, y'all enjoy y'all's win over the Detroit Lions, but don't try to throw that in my face, all right? We just beat the Bears, and don't even try talking about that. So, uh Bad Andy, you need to work on your stuff. I actually thought you were all right uh, during the summer somewhat. But uh, I can see that. Uh, and I think I know why. I think he hates the Cowboys more than any other Eagles fan. And I think I know why. It's because he lives in Texas. And so he cannot stand to see the Cowboys. Because you know there's Cowboys fans around him. I know he has to deal with it. And I know he cannot stand the Cowboys. Because, I mean, every time we win, he's got to listen to it from everybody he knows. 
So, uh, but you know, that's what you get for uh, living in Texas, being an Eagles fan. I got no problem with it, but you know what comes with it. So, um, oh well, fueled by hatred, we're fueled by goals to win a championship. So, uh, congratulations, Cowboys fans, and forget all these losers. Go Cowboys.